Hey everybody, welcome to Spirituality Adventures. I want to share with you some great stories with my dad. One of the things that I've loved about my dad through the years is that he has some funny stories that have been family stories through the years. And some of you who are joining in from Vineyard Church, you know my dad at Vineyard, or just family and friends around the country, um, I thought it'd be fun to get some of these stories on video and share them with anybody who would enjoy them. And a lot of you at Vineyard would have known my dad, I think probably at one time he was our main greeter, probably maybe maybe close to a thousand people knew uh, knew my dad and he knew them. And so they heard some of these stories along the way probably too. So dad, thanks for joining me. You're welcome. And um, I want to start kind of like with your childhood and go through a couple of those stories. And so... Uh, the first one I was thinking about, uh, you've told me many times about you guys uh, growing up, playing down by the river, um, some of the some of the honoriness that you experienced as a young young child in Wichita, Kansas. Well, uh, we did grow up. We was only about a block and a half away from the river. And uh, also, we were a couple of, three or four blocks away from the, the grade school where we were at. But now, when we, first thing we got into was, uh, there were three of us buddies that were together all the way from kindergarten clear through senior high, and at the same school everywhere. And it was, uh, uh, buddies of mine was Jimmy Cooper and Bernie Schaefer and myself. And we uh, probably got into a little bit more mischievous problems than we, they weren't bad, bad problems, but right. they were, back in those days, they were a good spanking. Right. And uh, the one, the first one that I can recall is that uh, uh, Jimmy Cooper and myself was on the way home and we ran into a young man named John Wano that would live behind us and... Uh, he was, I, we thought he was like a mama's boy. <laughs> and we picked on him on the way home from school one day and we uh, bullied him and kind of uh, pushed him around. I don't know that we ever slugged him or anything like that because we didn't even know how to do that too well anyway. And, uh, but we did pick on him and everything else and made him cry and he went home and his mom called the school and told the principal. And the next day at school, Jimmy Cooper and me got pulled into the principal's office and uh, he told us how serious it was. And he opened up his bottom drawer and took out an actual razor strap that you see in the old days where they swapped the razor blades on them. And he told us that uh, the next time that we tried that or anything else, that we was going to get our hind end paddled, paddled good. And uh, he said, by the way, I'm sending a note home with both of you, and it better get to your parents. And I got another spanking, a real spanking, at home when I got home and had to apologize to John's mom and everything in our neighborhood. So you learned not to bully and Cooper couldn't run around with me for about two weeks. Yeah. His dad was a, a real strict about that. Yeah. So you learned how to be. And then the other was. I, well, you know what's funny about that? I call that double jeopardy. Because <laughs> that's, yeah. what, that's what I grew up with. It was like if I got in trouble at school, I got in trouble at home. That was automatic. Gosh, I, call, I can't remember that. I call that double jeopardy. <laughs> 